Hi, Matt from Invariant here. Welcome to the tutorial for using print frames in RapidPlan. Print frames allow drawing title boxes and other plan annotations on a separate paper space layer and reusing them for future plans and other print regions. Combined with in-place print preview, they provide full control over how TCP objects are positioned when printing and saving. Once you have made a plan and are wanting to use a print frame or create a new one, simply click onto the Edit Print Frame button in the Canvas toolbar. A prompt will show up asking if you want to create a frame now. Click Yes. Print frames can be defined either for individual print regions or for the whole plan, in which case the same frame will be used for all print regions used within that one plan. The print frame editor view here presents a preview of the printout page with TCP contents scaled to fit inside it. You can now start placing your annotations over the print frame view preview. I'll make it a simple frame, so I'll now add a title box, manifest box and other annotation material. You can also anchor your annotations to ensure they're always positioned the same way with respect to the page border. Once you're done editing the frame, you click one of the red X icons or press the escape key to go back to close the frame editor view. Anytime you need to edit the frame again, use the canvas toolbar or print for it region frame icon. Alternatively, you can right click on the print region and select edit print frame. Print frames also enable us to overlay the print preview directly over the plan you're editing. To enable the in-place print preview, double-click the icon located in the bottom right corner of the print region. The in-place preview is a great choice if you need to adjust the positioning of your TCP elements so they aren't obscured by the print frame. Frames you create for specific, for specific plans and print regions are saved together with the plan. The print frame editor additionally allows saving frame contents to separate dot tcpf files so they can be reused on other plans so if you have one or more standard sets of annotations you use for your tcp documents you can paste each of them on a print frame and then save the frames to separate files then anytime you create a new plan you can load the appropriate pre-saved frame file and only insert the plan specific details such as job location or the number of the traffic plan Text variables are another feature which can be extremely useful for print frames. I'll add a video link for using text variables in the description below. If you're using a single frame template for most of your TCP documents, you can make it the default frame, which means it will automatically be used when printing or exporting diagrams that don't specify their own frames. To do this, save your frame as a .tcpf file then go to File, click on Print, and Print Options. Then click Edit Default Print Frame Settings. This will expand a panel letting you select the pre-saved frame file. Check the Use as Default Print Frame box and the frame contents should appear on the Print Preview. Click Save and the Options dialog will close. That sums up the tutorial on using print frames. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below to keep updated on new videos for RapidPlan.